Greetings. So I am working on a fun little project for a couple of teachers to start out the new year. And it is going to be a gift bag that is going to have some chocolates, a coffee gift card, and I thought it would be fun to make a coaster with the coffee in mind that they could set their coffee on the coaster. So I grabbed, uh, I had two of these wooden coasters left. Uh, they are from Plaid and a couple of their folk art matte paint. So I grabbed daffodil yellow and pure orange and these sweet printables on the Plaid Online website. They have a library that has so many printables that you can print out and use in different projects. I have my Mod Podge mat and a paintbrush, water. I think that's really all I'm going to need today. You'll be able to find everything that I've used in the description. So refer to that if you decide that you want to do this little project. All right, so we have a So this side appears to have been like rounded. So that is the top that we are, we're going to use that as the top. And this should be a pretty quick little project, except for opening the paints. So let's get these paints opened up. Open them both. These are brand new. I just got them in the mail from Plaid a few days ago. Make sure they don't have a seal on top of there. They don't. That one doesn't. And that one doesn't. Okay, so these are ready to go. And let's just pour a little paint on the top of here to get started. In the meantime, while we are waiting for these to dry, so we can add a little more paint. I'm just going to fussy cut each one of these. I'm going to use You know, with that in mind, these two would be the easiest to do. The Made to Teach and the Let's Teach today. But we're not always about making things easy. Let's grab some little scissors to use to do some fussy cutting. This is totally a project that you could do with the kids as long as, you know, they are able to do these kind of things at this point, cut with scissors and paint and all those different things. Okay. 
I did finish fussy cutting the sayings that I was having a problem with with <laughs> as far as my fussy cutting was going it is so tiny so I'm ditching the with and I brought out my permanent waterproof ink and some letter stamps that we are going to use that we are going to use to add the width so let's just grab those my hands are a mess that's what happens when you don't use gloves to craft <laughs> let's see w-i-t and h there we go so we will be using those to complete that one and then the coffee teach and repeat I can't hardly get every bit of that so I decided to leave a little bit of white around each letter and I will be using an orange Tombow alcohol based ink just to to go around each of these letters. This one is going to go on the orange, so I'm just going to ease, just gingerly take this around, and then that will just stand out a little less. going to put these letters down with the mat and then I will go back and to seal it I'm going to use the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and I think that that will help protect the, the surface. Start with a love. Okay. All right, so let's get just going to take this right across through here. Right. Let's just brush just to smooth them a little bit. Now I'm just trying to get them to adhere well. I think what would be good to do would be some hearts. And just keep making it bigger and 
bigger mess. But you know, that's what happens whenever you start a project and you kind of have something in mind, but you know, you just kind of keep adding to it and changing up things and it's all just part of that, that process. I absolutely love the process of creating. So let me just put some of these things out of the way so we're not looking at so much stuff at once. Just need to let this guy kind of dry a little bit. I'm scared to touch him because I've been working on the rim. And for this one, just to add visual interest. try again. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Is that pretty straight? Maybe. It's pretty straight. So we're just going to add white on either side of these and down the middle just to, let me find a paintbrush I've used white on. That one's yellow. Have I used white on anything? I don't know. I've got so much to clean up. I have not made this big of a mess in so long. But, you know, I've got a lot, a lot of projects in the works that are happening at one time. Everything needs drying, you know, you worked on something, it dries, you work on it again. So, but these are for a preschool teachers. School is getting ready to start back. What do I need and what do I not need? Okay, I need white is what I need. It just adds interest as much as anything. I'm not trying to make it white. I'm just trying to make it a lighter color, a little bit lighter color. Just a little bit. But I think we can fix it. So that's all right. Just going to let that one dry. Let's take a look at you. Um, I think that this one is actually pretty dry. So while I'm waiting for this one, to get to a good point. I lost my rag. I've got too many things going on. Oh, here it is. So let's cover up our paint just to try to keep it, keep it where it needs to be. And I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe over this one. Okay. 
so what I want to do is I like a little texture. Oh, I did want to outline these hearts one more time with um, So we are using the Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe and we are just going to pounce that out. Get that in the edge, that little stuff that's on the edge. And the reason I'm pouncing it is because I just like a little texture. I don't like to see brush marks at all. And I think that the uh, when you use a pouncer to do this, it does look like it's going to be white. But, you know, don't worry about that because what's going to happen is it's going to dry clear and it will just have a little, a little texture, a little surface interest going on once it's finished. Yeah, I think you can. Can you see the texture in there that it's going to create? That's what I'm going to do right now. We're going to let that dry really well. What do you think? Do that. And then we can like fix up a couple little spots with a dab of orange. And keep going. So let's get our Mod Podge mat back out just to glue these down. We're going to finish the edges on this. On the second coaster that we're working on. Let's get the sides and we'll put one more coat on each of these. Okay, so we are about finished with these coasters. I think they're looking really cute. And take a look you can see the texture that that pouncing adds to these we are going to add a piece of felt to the backs of these so I just found some coordinating color felt cut it out just a little smaller than my coaster and I'm going to use some Mod Podge mats to just add these to the back. Put a good coat of Mod Podge. On the back of this, I'm also going to add just a little And if 
if you don't get it, if it goes over the edges, that's okay because it's going to dry clear and nobody will probably ever know except for you that it's all the way over. So, let's just press this down right in the middle. Just going to let that dry. And there we go. While I am adding one more coat to the front, one more coat of the Mod Podge dishwasher safe to the front of these, just so they can wipe them down as needed. And I would like to thank you for joining me for today's project. I do hope that if you decide to create something similar that you will share it with me. A great place to do that would be uh, Instagram is actually my social media of choice. Um, but I'm also on Facebook, so either one of those places. And if you enjoy crafty content like this, I hope that you will choose to subscribe to my channel. Get out there and you create something fun, make it yours, and at the end of the day, just enjoy the process. So until next time, bye!